I want to show you a shortcut to doing a full deploy. So let's suppose, for instance, you were debugging this orchestration. This is our big PO demo orchestration. And let's say here, for whatever reason, you wanted to add additional debug info. Okay? And now you wanted to test your orchestration. So in the past, what we've been doing is a full deploy, which in a big environment, if you have, for instance, uh, 10 or 20 orchestrations, and you have to redeploy them just to add that one little debug statement, that can be very time consuming. So a shortcut is to do the following. You just do a build of that orchestration. And then, of course, what that does, it rebuilds the DLLs. And the build is a lot faster on one orchestration than it is doing a deploy on uh, 10 or 20 orchestrations. So now we've done the build. Now the trick is we have to put that in the GAC. So I'm going to open two Windows Explorer windows. So in one of them, I'm going to go to where my DLL is, which is Visual Studio 2005 Projects. Of course, on your disk, it may be somewhere else. And I'm going to go to Demo 1, I believe. No. Yeah, it is Demo 1. No, it's actually here. This Talk 2006 Intro. And then this is under our Orchestrations which is somehow our orchestrations got saved under schemas. And then here's our orchestration. Then we go to bin, development, and here's all our DLLs. And then I can sort them based on date time. So the current one will come to the top. So 11.14 today at 4.24, I recompiled. And here's the DLLs that got recompiled. The only one I changed, however, is the PO orchestrations. So I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to go to the GAC which is C Windows Assembly. And then here's a list of all our items that we've been working with. PO maps, PO orchestrations, PO schema generated, and PO schemas. In the real world you might want to use a namespace here so it'd be like you know, my company name dot PO maps, my company name dot PO orchestrations, my company name dot whatever. In my case, all four sorted together because they all started with PO. But like you can see how Microsoft does it here, like Microsoft dot and then a sub project name dot. So you could have my company dot payroll dot something, you know. So now what I need to do is just simply copy my PO orchestrations over here, and that basically puts it in the GAC. And then when I rerun that orchestration, that new debug statement would actually run. But just recall, of course, anytime you change the GAC, you will have to come and reboot or restart your host instance. So even whether you do a deploy or whether you do my GAC shortcut, you have to do a restart here on all your appropriate host instances. So that concludes this little trick.